Welcome to episode 11 of Body Language TV. I'm your host, Don Corey, and today we're going to focus on lying. But first, I want to preview the week. So today we're going to talk about lying. Tomorrow, poker. On Wednesday, we're going to talk about shoes. On Thursday, we're going to talk about nonverbal communication, body language, and sports. As well, on Friday, we're going to talk about town hall debates versus podium debates. Now you might notice the signature here on the whiteboard, that's my signature. And uh, Malcolm in Australia, who's a handwriting expert, is actually going to uh, analyze this. Now Malcolm, I've had this since I was 16 years old, I don't know what it's going to say. But we are, I'm going to be completely vulnerable and let you put in the comment section exactly what your thoughts are. So I, I, everybody tune in tomorrow and see what Malcolm's comments are. Another thing is that many people have asked me, why are you doing this? Well, I'm doing this because I read this book over the Christmas holiday, Crush It! by Gary Vaynerchuk. It is an amazing read. It's a short read. And it will light your fire about where the business world is going. You can find Gary at winelibrarytv.com or at GaryVaynerchuk.com. As well, I will put a link to his book uh, on Amazon here. So, thanks to Gary Vaynerchuk. And he also has a board, and I, I, I took the idea from his show. I love it. It's great. So, thanks to Gary. Lying. So, let's talk about some lying, yeah, some issues with lying. One. People will often focus on concealing their words and their face, but rarely will they focus on concealing the rest of their body. And that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to look at five different things. The first one is the shrug, and this is what's called an emblem. If, you, if someone shrugs just before they're about to talk, that would indicate that they're not quite sure in what they're saying, or they may be attempting to deceive you. It's one of the more reliable tells, the shrug. The next one we want to look at are illustrators. Now, illustrators are usually a belief in truthfulness when, you, when you're moving your hands or you're, you're animated in your presentation. But if you baseline someone and you know what, how many illustrators they usually use, and when they calm down, that's another indicator that perhaps something is going on. Number three that we want to look at is the ear grab. Now, I've noticed this a number of times when I've done strategic planning sessions and team building sessions where someone on the team will agree with the leader of the team on a direction that they should be going in but when we come back and review it 90 days later they're usually the ones who haven't done what they've committed to do although they verbalize that in the meeting. Number four is an interesting facial expression if someone was to agree with you verbally and do a, a, an upside down you with their eyelids up, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that's exactly what I mean, that would often indicate that they're also attempting to deceive. And the fifth one that we want to look at today is uh, the eye cover or eye scratch, nose grab. That area, that while they're talking, would indicate that they don't want to look at you or they don't like looking at the results of what they're saying. So those are the five things. Use those uh, observe those over the next few days. Comment on this. I look forward to hearing your comments. And tomorrow, we're going to talk about poker. And that should be a lot of fun. Thanks, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.